What I'm going to do in this video is give a brief introduction into the concept of relative velocity because it seems like it gives uh, people issues and it's confusing with the wording and how do you set up the different situations and a lot of times what people end up doing is they end up um, just looking at the problem and trying to guess what's going on by using common sense if it's on a one-dimensional line if they're going towards each other they add up the, the speeds so there's all different types of um, ways to look at it but really to understand what relative velocity is it's nothing more than simple vector addition and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give a, a brief example here of what we're dealing with so what I have here is I have these two little boxes here that look like boxes they, let's just pretend like these are two cars going in different directions and I'm gonna call this car A here and I'm gonna call this car B and I have a, a, a compass I labeled over here north south you know, east and west and let's just pretend like our car here car A is moving with a uh, velocity uh, a to the east and let's say that that's moving at 10 meters per second to the east all right so there it is and let's say that car b we'll say velocity of b is moving let's say to the south at 10 meters per second and so everything you've seen up to this point is in terms of when you get a velocity you just get the velocity of the object you say velocity of a or the velocity of this car but what's really implying is that you have a reference point and that reference point if there's an object on the ground it's basically whatever it's in contact with that's its reference point so in this case we have the ground which I'm gonna label G big G these cars are on the ground so that's the velocity of a with respect to G which is the ground and this is the velocity of B with respect to the ground okay so that's implied that's implied you say velocity of a you see velocity of b but it's implied that it's to the ground okay so that's always there we never really talked about it before but there's the big g we're on the ground we're moving okay so what if there's a problem and in this problem the problem asks you they say what is the uh relative relative velocity of a with respect not to the ground but with respect to b what if they want to know what that is okay what if the question asks you that I'm going to put a little arrow above this just to show that it's a vector, which is what we should normally do. Okay, so there's a definition here of uh, relative velocity, and here's, here's how it goes. If I want to find the relative velocity of A with respect to B, I have to say the velocity of A with respect to the ground plus the velocity of the ground with respect to B. And that is going to equal the we should have written it here first the velocity of a with respect to b okay that's the definition of relative velocity okay the one thing to notice here is that the g's you see how it's the a to the ground and the ground to b the g's line up here on the inside and that's the key to remember when you're doing this and that's going to be really important so the velocity relative velocity of a with respect to b okay what I'm going to do right now is write our vectors out in unit vector notation. So I'm going to go ahead and just take these two and I'm going to write them out. So I'm going to say the velocity of A with respect to the ground is nothing more than 10i and 0j. Okay, I just wrote it out in unit vector notation. It's going in that direction. There it is. All right. And I know that uh, the velocity of B with respect to the ground is nothing more than what? It's 0 comma negative 10. Okay? But our definition wants us to find A to the ground first, which is what we have here. But here we have B to the ground. Okay? So what we need to do is we need to find the velocity of G to B. Okay? The ground to B. And the way that we do that is we simply just flip the vectors. So we make all of the components, we just change their sign. So this is 0, positive 10. Okay, so that's what we have here. So in this definition, what they want us to do is add up now velocity of A to G, which you see here, and the velocity of G to B, which you see here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this velocity of B to G, and I'm just going to kind of move it over here to the side. Okay, just over here. And now we have our two vectors here that we want to add up. We just we simply want to add them up. 
in our unit vector notation. So let's take a look at that. Okay, we have all our components lined up here. So I'm just going to add them up. I'm going to draw a line here. Okay, let's add these two guys up. So the relative velocity of A with respect to B is nothing more than adding up these components. So I'm going to have 10, comma 10. And that's in unit vector notation. Now you may want to write this in terms of magnitude, angle, and reference, which is really no problem. So let's go ahead and do that now. And so we know that this unit vector is nothing more than 10i plus 10j. And so we're going to write out the components here. When we write out, when we're resolving our magnitude, we always start with the x. So you start in the center of this axis here. You don't let your you don't let your pencil leave the paper. You do the x first, then you do the y. Okay. So this is where we're going to end up right here. After that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw our resultant vector, which is here. And we know that this has a magnitude, this component has a magnitude of 10, and this one has a magnitude of 10. So this is a magnitude of 10 root 2. You can either recognize that this is a 45-45 triangle, which is what we have here, or again, you can find that resultant, the magnitude of A to B, simply by just taking the sum of the squares of the sides. And we know that that will come out to be 10 root 2. Okay, I picked a simple example just so this is clear. Uh, but that's 10 root 2 meters per second. And we know that theta is 45 because it's here. But if you wanted to find theta, we would say theta is inverse tangent of 10 over 10, which is simply 45 degrees. Okay, And we know that when we want to resolve a vector, we have to do magnitude. Remember, it's, people say vectors are magnitude uh, and direction. But I always like to remember, I always like to say that vectors are magnitude, angle, and reference. M-A-R, mar. Just remember that. Okay, so when I write my vector, okay, I say the relative velocity of A with respect to B is 10 root 2 meters per second, 45 degrees north of east. Or in this case, you could just say northeast. Okay, so there's my magnitude angle reference. And so now you've found the relative velocity of A with respect to B in both unit vector notation and in terms of the magnitude, angle, and the reference.